interesting one that I've been singing for many is the long year. This one's called uh, Lord Franklin. It's an old English ballad. In fact, I find out more about this song as time passes, as more and more is found out about the real truth behind this old song. And I think I'll tell you about it because it's a good story and uh, very gruesome. And I, <laughs> I like it. Of course, it ruins the song forever. But uh, after I tell you the story, just forget all about it, okay? The story is this. Beginning of the last century, or early in the last century, several expeditions were sent off to find a trade route to the east. And it was thought that there was a shortcut around the north of Newfoundland, south of the Arctic Circle. Well, all these ships were sent out, and they never came back again. The last one that was sent out was headed by Sir John Franklin. And uh, he was a good man for the job, because he looked the part. He had side whiskers and was a nice, plump, pink Englishman. Trouble was, he was basically an imbecile, and uh, <laughs> but, but a man of good breeding, you understand. He equipped his ship with the essentials as far as he was concerned that were needed, which was a billiard hall, a library, and a large stock of port. What he neglected to put on board was any food, but this didn't matter, of course, because it was only the crew that would have needed that sort of stuff. They were low class. Well, essentially, frankly, never returned either and this ballad came about which uh, laments his great loss. Um, <laughs> what has since been discovered is that uh, they finally found Franklin's ship completely miles away from anywhere that anyone could possibly explain. And with the ship were some of the seamen already preserved and frozen completely in the ice. Some of them were frozen complete, some of them seemed to be frozen incomplete and bits of them were strewn around over a large area. They found a leg bone belonging to a skeleton in one place and about 10 miles further down in the ice, the other leg, and they couldn't understand how all these guys could have walked so far without any legs. <laughs> and then they figured out that probably what happened uh, was that the crew didn't have anything to eat, and old Franklin was a nice plump specimen, as I told you. So they put two and two together, and that's what happened to him. They ate him. They did find what remains of Franklin in a box with the ship's log stuffed up his last remaining orifice uh, as, as a sort of thank you note from the rest of the boy. <laughs> so there you go, that's ruined it forever, isn't it, really? <laughs> now, wait a minute, there is a nice touch to it. He was only Sir John Franklin when he left England, but they made him Lord Franklin after he was frozen to death and cannibalised, which I find a, a very noble gesture. <laughs> Homeward bound one night on the deep Swinging in my hammock I fell asleep I dreamed a dream and I thought it true Concerning Franklin and his gallant hundred seamen he sailed away the frozen ocean in the month of May to seek a passage around the pole we poor seamen we sometimes go On mountains of ice was thrown. Only the Eskimo in his skin canoe was the only one that ever. 
Buffin Bay, where the whale fishes blow. The fate of Franklin, no man may know. The fate of Franklin, no tongue can tell. Lord Franklin, the one his seamen do well. Now my burden, it gives me pain For my lost Franklin, I would cross the main Ten thousand pounds 